taking that deep, deep, deep lymphatic breath. Thank you for coming aboard the Friendship Train Ride. Thank you for joining us in making conscious self-health care moves. So let's discover lasting wellness by being our very own wellness doctor. Step up out of the dark ages of disease care. Conscious self-health care moves by becoming your conscious self-health care navigator and leaping into or with the new paradigm of bioenergetics and quantum health care. Yes, advance from the old and embrace the future of now, making conscious self-health care moves by becoming your own wellness doctor. Welcome aboard the Friendship Train Ride. The remedy. We have a pharmacy inside of us that is absolutely exquisite. It makes the right medicine for the precise time for the right targeted organ with no side effects. You better believe it, family, community, and friends. I'm your host, Reverend Dr. Karen Khadija Davis, folks, coming to you straight and live from the non secular science of medicine. Your desire is your prayer. Picture the fulfillment of your desire now and feel its reality and you will experience the joy of the answer prayer. Family, community, and friends, it's time to take a look from the field vibration of cellular activity. Aboard the friendship train, we sit back and take deep, deep, deep lymphatic breaths while we tune into ourselves with the understanding more and more we must learn to think not in terms of race or color or language or religion of political boundaries but in terms of humanity above all races and political boundaries there is humanity welcome aboard the friendship train ride Thank you for joining us, and we all are making conscious self-health care moves. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome aboard. Hello. How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome aboard. It's been a minute. Glad to see you back. Oh, wow. You brought your son? You brought your daughter? No, that's your grandchildren. Welcome aboard, young man. Welcome aboard, young lady. It's good to see you stepping up. Thank you for joining us on the friendship train. Come on aboard, everybody. Shake a hand. Make a friend. Come on, people. Woo! Get on board the friendship train ride this wellness Wednesday. Yes! Ooh, set back, take your deep breaths, relax, time to tune into yourself. I'm telling you, family, community, and friends, it is definitely time to tune into yourself. Taking that deep, deep, deep lymphatic breath and welcoming you aboard the Conscious Self Health Care Conversation Radio Show airing right here on the friendship train ride today we're talking about claim your wellness claim your wellness you must claim your wellness in these changing and challenging times and how do you do that claim your wellness stepping up and understanding more about epigenetics and bioenergetics family community and friends I'm Reverend Dr. Karen Khadija Davis folks coming to you straight and live from the non-secular science of medicine wanting to support you with becoming your own wellness doctor stepping it up out of the dark ages of disease care understanding 
diseases, understanding what you need to do for yourself, understanding, taking that deep, deep, deep lymphatic breath, understanding the power of the lymphatic system, which promotes, protects, and supports all other systems in the body. Yes, this human cell that we are, live vibrating human cell that we are. Family, community, and friends, you know, I've been going through a lot and I share my real life story with you for the past, um, what, eight, nine years straight up sharing my wellness journey with you how I'm moving through these challenging and changing times and when things came up in my life how we decided to work through it process through it and I want to share and help you to do the same thing too because sometimes it seems challenging and difficult to bring about a new some people want to keep you where you were they want to keep you where you are they want to say to you, everything's okay because your vibration is at a level that makes their vibration feel good. You have to be here on this earth to protect, to support, to be the victor of your own glorious journey here. As long as we're doing it with no hurt and no harm to anyone else. And that's why on this show, we decided to put our focus on the four D's and a P. Death, dying, disease, deception, pain, and pharmaceuticals. And we go on full force with understanding and explaining to you what has been shared. Maybe you missed it. Maybe you overlooked it. Maybe it flew by you. We want you to catch up and understand that you can make your life better, make your journey more well. You may be even capable of healing yourself. From things that have been said to you, shared to you, and told to you. It's time for you to sit back on the friendship train ride and take that deep, deep breath. And I'm so thankful that y'all came aboard this Wellness Wednesday right here. 1st of August 2023. Bringing in. Well, it's not really the 1st of August 2023. It'll be the 2nd that this show will air. Family, community, and friends, body's a little anxious. Mind is a little anxious. Got to sit back and continue relaxing. Re- relaxing. I must one is going to say relaxing. <laughs> relaxing. Going through a lot, experienced a lot. I'm telling you, after that tremendous accident that just occurred to me in June, put me back on a different and sort of the same path. And now... I have to sit back and really, truly focus on my inner wealth, on my health, where I'm going, what I've been through, what I've experienced. I thought that I was taking off last month, June, really, doing that. But as we know, June the 9th brought me a new situation that I'm dealing with. And so, once again, I decided that I'm not taking a break to be thankful I'm taking a great a break because I am so very grateful to be alive to be here on planet earth at this time at this rejuvenation period in my life as I continue to move forward so I'm going to take the month of August off and some of September while I support my being revamp my approach to sharing my information with the community mainly in Washington DC but it happens around the world because what I work with I can work with you no matter where you are in the world as long as you have access to a telephone and you have access to a computer we can work together in the new frontier making conscious self health care moves so today i want to say to you thoughts do become things and we've been encouraging you and supporting you with choosing the good ones remembering that right perspective right results 
when your perspective is not clear, your behavior becomes inconsistent. So again, ask yourself that question. What perspective are you working from? Is it the perspective that you want, you need, is clear? Your behavior becomes consistent. So ask yourself, is your perspective not clear to you? Your behavior becomes inconsistent. I'm here to tell you, as I been shown and demonstrated to me through my body because I have been tuned in. And that's what we do on the Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Show. Friendship train ride. Woo woo! Your body will never lie to you. Come on, family, community, and friends. Your body will never lie to you. However, your mind will. What? Yeah, your body will never lie to you. But your mind will. And that's why on this train ride, we're encouraging you to step up to quantum health care. Thank you for coming to dance and breathe with me as you sit back and tune into yourself. It doesn't matter what your age is. You understand? It's time for you to move forward. Thanking the parents, thanking the grandparents, thanking everyone that brought a youth aboard the Friendship Train Ride. We want to work with them now. We want them to understand about the foods, everything that they're doing, eating, drinking, being, being a part of. How is it supporting you to be better here on planet Earth during these changing and challenging times? Because family, community, and friends, nothing, all these creaking, excuse me, chairs, let me sit down. All family, community, and friends, nothing in nature struggles. The struggle is unnatural. People think butterflies, when they are in their cocoon state, they are struggling. That's their process. We have our process of things. But man struggles for everything in the world. And they shouldn't have to struggle or see it that as a struggle. And that's why I say that word, struggling, no. You don't struggle when you are what? The creator of your life. Creating the world you want to see. And that's what I'm doing. And that's why I'm taking this two month sabbatical as I revamp my programs, my support to the community, my support to myself, allowing my body to heal itself, not being rushed, not being worried, thanking God, thanking the universe, thanking my life journey that I'm able to do this, that I'm able to sit back and take the time because I don't want more for myself than I have when it comes to finances and as things correct themselves I'll set back and I'll tune into myself and make things better so family once again nothing in nature struggle struggling is unnatural so if you are struggling we want you to set back take the time think about your perspective find out what's not clear and why do you feel that you need to be in the mode of struggling every day take the time if you can take the time if you can't take the time family community and friends it's time to take back control of your health your life your thinking Whew. Taking that deep, 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 deep breath means so very much to you, and you know this. Out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and right doing, there is a field. And we share that field with you when we talk about the Nest Health Wellness System, which I'm very much a part of. Over the past, I don't know, 22, 23 years, I've been with Nest Health as a work their way up 
prove what they had to share and what they had to say. And many, many people have come aboard the Nest Health Wellness System. We have the vibration. Just like birds have radars, whales have sonar, humans have vibes. I honor my vibration, and it's time for you to honor your vibration. And it may seem in conflict with your mind, what you're thinking, what your awareness is all about. And we may need to make some changes. We may need to adapt. And we should be able to do that in peace and harmony. You are not stuck in that sunken place of diseased thoughts. Learning about them, understanding about the disease, how it relates to your body, what you notice, and what you can do to improve things <clears throat> is what I'm doing. And I have been doing because there's nothing greater, nothing on earth that's greater than me <clears throat> and my thoughts, no matter what. Are you ready for this new paradigm of quantum, energetic, bioenergetic? epigenetics informational healing I'm loving it because there's no fear there's no fear in diseases when you understand and when you know there's false education false education false education appearing so real because it dominates the TV it dominates the conversation it dominates in the doctor's office it's dominating while you're riding the bus it's dominating while you walk in the street it's how people are talking you have to move yourself in the direction that you want your life to be family community and friends don't change for me I won't change for you change for yourself don't change according to what the world has given you change because of what you understand for yourself because you researched it you found you took the time you must take the time to become aware there is nothing complicated about anatomy and physiology because you are living it you are experiencing it get to know your systems of the body get to know the organs of the body what they do how they function how they work what they live on what they vibrate on that's your job that's my job that is not the job of the doctors that wears the white coat that talks to you about your health concerns your job your job is becoming your own wellness doctor and that's what we share with you right here on the conscious self health care conversation radio show and even we know that there are some people out there that are still wearing their mask. I'm telling you to take it off, to stop it, to deep breathe. We love fresh air. The fresh air is oxygen for us. And when we breathe out, we breathe out carbon dioxide, which is oxygen for the earth, for the plants, for the earth, for the plants, for the trees family community and friends take that deep breath with me right now take it feel it how do you want to take that deep breath through your nose out through your nose in through your mouth out through your mouth nose mouth take the breath know that you are taking the breath feel the breath see how it makes your body feel see what's going on you say you're not even tight you say you're in a relaxed state, but when you take that breath a number of times, you begin to feel and know and understand where your body truly is. The body never lies to you, family, community, and friends. Take that pause. Take that moment of silence. You are wonderful the way you are, and you are only improving making your life better because you're willing to make the change they made the change in the world all over the world it has changed so much is going on and you want to move with that flow of change you want to make your life easy you can never find yourself or who you are in books 
you got to feel it you got to know who you are you got to search your heart and you have to search your soul because we know we have a pharmacy inside of us that is absolutely exquisite the body innately knows what to do you're not telling it what to do you're supporting it through your mind through your thought through your vibration so the body has a pharmacy inside of us and when it sees and feels when it sees and feels and know the things are out of balance it's doing what it needs to correct itself but it needs you to give it the proper minerals and vitamins and enzymes things that it needs to support itself and moving forward and taking care of itself yes family com community and friends you can trace every ailment every sickness and every disease to a mineral deficiency and that mineral deficiency cannot come from man made pharmaceuticals it comes from nature family community and friends you can trace every ailment every sickness and every disease to a mineral deficiency and your states of thinking always there life is a state of consciousness and that dictates and that rules and that will over apply everything the thoughts that are in your subconscious mind and the thoughts that are in your conscious mind what you're processing how you're processing say with all conviction in your heart I will never be sick again health is a choice I have learned I am learning how to choose it I know that there are no real diseases that destroy my body the diseases lets me know what area of my body what system what organs what processing needs support and I'm thankful to the medical Western medical establishment for the way that they have named their diseases so we can understand what's going on what cellular malfunctions are we creating because we are not doing the right and correct things the deficiency of not giving the right minerals the toxicity of not properly cleaning up our body supporting our body to make and do the right things we have the pharmacy inside of us that is absolutely exquisite it makes the right medicine for the precise time for the right targeted organs with no side effects family community and friends come on now I'm stepping up you must step up there is a way to move we all are going through something we all are feeling something and I just want to say to you right now healing healing is what we must do we must heal our states a mind our state of consciousness our state of thinking about what's going through don't try to work you work through what they have put in front of us for us to see you know what I'm saying family community and friends we're thankful for the information we're thankful for what they're showing us but we must know the power that we have as an individual we are the ones that controls the processes of this human body your human body not mine I control mine you control yours family community and friends parents grandparents you are part of the children but they let the world influence them and we got to help them understand because we must do things that we have never done before we must talk to our children we must let them see and understand the foods are no longer foods they're made in a plant they didn't come from a plant they made in a plant not giving you what you need made with all the wrong materials it tastes good it tastes great but really is it chicken really is it a hamburger really is it a hot dog really is it what they say it is even the cereals that our children love what is it made of how was corn made how was the wheat made family community and friends come on now take that deep 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 breath with me 
We're talking about healing. We're talking about healing our lives, healing our mind, healing our body. Restoring to original purity or integrity. That's what Webster says healing is. But that's what the body does. The body does that giving it the proper minerals, the proper tools, everything that it needs. It's doing it. It's working. It's going to do it without you. It doesn't need you to inter- intervene. The body is functioning. It's doing its life. You decide to come here through the womb. You decided to be here. The first step in all spiritual healing is to believe. But we do know, believe you can, believe you can't, believe you are right. So we got to pay attention to what we say and we are believing in. The first step in all spiritual healing is to believe. And the next step is openness and receptivity to the stream of healing life. Through the exercise of faith in our words, our spiritual quality is fused into unity with the power of the positive, loving Christ mind and the work is marvelously accomplished. All healing is based on a mental cleansing. That's what you do aboard the friendship chain ride. You strengthen that mental You allow yourself, you allow yourself healing. Healing is based on mental cleansing. You got to look at how you're thinking, how you've been thinking, what you're giving your power to, what you're not. When the mind is free from error thoughts, those error thoughts may not match somebody else's error thoughts. Your error thoughts are for you, their error thoughts are for them. Harmony in the body is ensued, is there when you free yourself from all these thoughts about what drugs can do for you, what this can do for you. Your greatest gift is to strengthen the power of your state of thinking, your state of consciousness. Permanent healing is never accomplished until the mental, until the mental cause of the disease, the error thought, is removed. And that's what I'm doing. <sighs> that's what I have been doing. But life keeps throwing things at you. Life keeps bringing things up. We have to get on that right trajectory. We got to get on that right path. And we got to stay consistent. The healing word is not special creation to meet an emergency. The word goes forth and establish that which is already is. It does not heal anything in its perfection. There is nothing to heal. Hold on to that thought, family and community and friends. That's powerful. Its office is to behold the perfection of being. Hold that perfection. We are here. Health. Health. A state of being. Sound or whole in mind and body and that's what I'm working on to strengthen to make it even stronger as life has shown me some things propelled me into situations because I'm having a breakthrough I'm moving through the healing word is not special creation to meet an emergency the word goes forth and establishes that which is. It does not heal anything. It is perfection. There is nothing to heal. Health, a state of being, sound or hold in mind and body, a state of being. Hold on to that state of being like I have been doing even though challenges and changes have been coming up. I'm holding on to the truth. And that's why I'm going to sit back, do the sabbatical, continue taking care of myself. I will be sending up recordings every now and then, but I'm going to ask the programmer to please go back over the past maybe five years for the days that I am not doing a live recorded show to play something that will support everyone, everyone. So I'm like you. I'll be sent back and waiting to hear 
what's going to be played on next week's show. Woo woo! Health is a normal condition of man. A condition true to the truth of his being. Health taking that deep, deep, deep lymphatic breath. Health is from within. You know what I, I just read to you. I just told you. I just read it to you. You know I did. I shared it with you. Oh, family, community, and friends. Health is a normal condition of man. A condition true to the truth of his being. Health is from within and does not have to be manufactured in the without. In the without. It is the very essence of being universal and enduring. Family, community, and friends. Welcome. Welcome aboard the Friendship Train Ride. We're here. We're sharing with you information to strengthen your independence to strengthen your resolve for you to understand that you can make a change no matter how long you've been in the states you've been in no matter what they told you gotta sit back and look at yourself look at your life you've been diagnosed with something they put you on medication you are a senior you was diagnosed in your 50s now you in your 60s you were diagnosed in your 40s now you in your 50s you were diagnosed in your 30s now you in your 60s are you still doing the same thing taking the same medication trying this one out trying that one out but look what they're showing you now is the time to look at the commercials to see what they're saying and how they're saying it to you and they'll tell you all the wrong just to try to get a moment a right to change the chemical structures in your body using a pharmaceutical that is not and has not been proven to be effective for you because they tell you I'm not making this up I'm listening to the commercials and that's why every time Something happens and I go into that medical establishment and they throw out a medication at me. I don't even argue with them anymore because I put myself in there. They're not going to see from my perspective, from my way. They're going to see from the way they've been trained, from the way that they think they're living. And doctors make their living off of putting you on pharmaceuticals, having unnecessary surgeries or having surgeries. They don't give you a chance to allow your body to change, to heal, to support itself. They don't give you a chance to change the mental thought that you are having because they know. And now you must know and understand about the no placebo effect, the placebo effect, medical hexing, and has and as things truly are. It's so much to see that you would never even think that a doctor would do these things to you. You think that they are in your corner. Let me tell you something, family, community, and friends. They think they're helping you. They have to make you see doctors are their biggest influence on your life as far as your health but you must allow yourself the time and the opportunity to learn to new to re-educate yourself from the way that you've been taught from the way that you was raised as a child did you run and grab something all the time did you run to the doctor's office all the time were you told to listen to your doctor to do this and do that it's time to listen to yourself a lot of times we are going against ourselves, our true nature our true feelings and we must stop now and we can because health is from within and does not have to be manufactured in the without. It is the very essence of being universal and enduring. That which seems to be sickness does not exist in truth. When man becomes so much at one with the God mind the he that he abides in consciousness of health, your life will change. Family, community and friends Step back and think about how you think about the mind. Metaphysics. Think about disease. How you think about how microbes are formed. Family, community, and friends. This year of 2023, seven, eight months into the year. Well, we got five months left. Well, August, September, October, November, December. Let this time be a time for reunification. Let this time be a time for you to know yourself. 
Trust yourself. Love yourself beyond a man made mind set of human consciousness. That's what they're trying to do and that's what they're doing. Family, community, and friends, you don't have to argue with nobody. You don't have to be in tune to nobody. You don't have to accept what people are saying. You must do it for yourself because your life is living in that way anyway. Your body is moving according to your thoughts and through the way that you feel and the way that you think. We're about 30 minutes into the show. I want you to think about the things I've said. We're going to come back and share some more information with you. Health education for longevity and peace. Health education for longevity and peace. The arc of self-healing and self-help. Helping yourself, healing your body. We're on the friendship train. Calling out to everyone across the nation. Said the world is in a desperate situation. Stealing, burning, fighting, killing. Nothing but corruption. It looks like mankind is on the eve of destruction. Oh yeah. It is now. People let me tell you now. We got to learn to live with each other. No matter what race, creed or color. I just got to tell you what the world needs now. Is love and understanding. So get on board. Thank you for coming aboard the friendship train. Everybody shake a hand, make a friend. Woo woo! Listen to us now. We're doing our thing on the friendship train. And you can do that too. Be right back with your family, community, and friends. Take that break with me. Listen to this song or two. And I'm going to come back and end the show with you by sharing with you an article on epigenetics and bioenergetics as we talk about the no placebo effect the placebo effect medical hexing where are you and your thinking woo woo do you feel lost do you feel out of sync could it be that you are experiencing electromagnetic sensitivity yes electromagnetic sensitivity could man-made frequencies interfere with cellular activity and melatonin production? We are beings of frequency, light, and information, and you are your own experience. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of man-made mindset of human consciousness. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Schedule your Nest ProVision Human Body Field Scan with Dr. K. 202-248-7749 Visit the website for CellLife.com The number 4 C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E dot com Have the courage to expand your horizon and reprogram your cellular activities Call Dr. K for your 15 minute wellness consultation 202-248-7749 Is it time for a new approach to your health care? Are you ready to leave the dark ages of disease care management and pharmaceuticals? If your answer is yes, get ready to relearn, rethink, and rewrite your personal health care prescription plan with Dr. K. She is a certified lithologist and Nest health care provider, sharing the new science of information as medicine and cellular ecology. Did you know that the field of epigenetics states that you are more than just your genes? And those genes do not control your biology. Yes, that's correct. Schedule a Skype, phone, or office visit with Dr. K and get on board the friendship train to healthcare freedom. 202-248-7749. That's 202-248-7749. Visit us on the web for CellLife.com. The number four, the words Cell, C E L L L I F E dot com. Hey, we got to help one another. Welcome back. Taking that deep, deep, deep lymphatic breath. You aboard the Friendship Train Ride right here on the Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Radio Show. I'm your host, Reverend Dr. Karen Khadija Davis, folks, coming to you straight and live from the non-secular science of medicine, bringing it all together for you, mind over 
medicine. Understanding. Emancipate yourself from medical mental slavery. Break the chain of mind control and join the self-care revolution. See family, community, and friends, we're talking about emancipating yourself from medical slavery. Listening to, understanding, working with the information that the Western medical industry is sharing with you. The how they are empowering you now with all these new devices that works on the energetic vibration of the human body, empowering you to monitor, to manage your health and care any way you so choose. Family, community, and friends, you aboard the friendship train wide. Wasn't that a great song we just heard? It's okay. It's all okay. It's all all right. Yes, I say it's time for everybody to sit back and look at things differently or more clear or have a better perspective of their understanding for themselves because we have been shown a lot in these last four years. Oh, taking that deep breath. We're back on board the Friendship Train Ride for making conscious self-health care moves. Emancipation from mental slavery. You got to pay attention to your thoughts, your dreams, your ambitions, what you want, what you're going through, what's being shown directly to you, what you're developing in your life. Sitting back, it's okay. It's a new day. They have shown us so many things have changed. So many, many, many variations in so many, many areas. And that's why it's important for you to be in love with yourself, to tune into yourself, to take care of yourself, to take your deep, deep, deep breaths, understand the lymphatic system, what is needed, what is not needed. Everybody is doing what they need to do for themselves. And you must do what you need to do for yourself. And that's why we do that right here on the Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Radio Show. We're right here. We're tuned into ourselves on the Friendship Train Ride. And we're taking those deep, 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 deep lymphatic breaths. Emancipating ourselves from mental slavery of the thoughts that we think that's no longer serving us and where we need to be at. And know that we don't need no one's permission to do that. So family, community, and friends, this year, uh, the 13th anniversary of actually Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day, I honored my friend and roommate and my business partner, Humam Abdul Malik, brother Humam Abdul Malik, Commissioner Humam Abdul Malik, ABO6, right here in Washington, D.C. As y'all know, he is no longer with us. And this is the article that was shared in the Washington Informer newspaper. I'm going to share it with you as I take this sabbatical for the month of August and think and be working on these things uh, as we move forward in a new paradigm. The article started off as Claim Your Wellness in These Changing and Challenging Times with Epigenetics and Bioenergetics. You are the creator of your life. Create the world you want to see. Keep life simple. It's time to make conscious self-health care moves. Mental observation view is essential for self-success. With self-health care medicine by being your own wellness doctor. Step up out of the dark ages of disease care. Health is consciousness and healing is a function of consciousness. It's time. Is it the season to liberate from medical hexing and pharmaceuticals? Could it be time for you to emancipate yourself from medical mental slavery? April is celebrated as Conscious Self-Health Care and Lymphatic Cellular Wellness Month. And April 30th, 2023 is the 13th National Worldwide Celebration of Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day. With 
all the new medical studies and information on disease care management and the development of new quantum health tools and software, we as individuals can make a better, wiser, and more sustainable choice for the best care of the human and energetic body. We are empowered to not fall victim to one way as the best way and the only way. To maintain and improve our state of health as we correct our individual cellular malfunctions, not diseases. The 2023 Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day Celebration Radio Show that aired April 30th, 2023 on Interlight Radio right here. Woo-woo, the friendship train. Okay, okay. We will not have a panel discussion this year. We didn't have a panel discussion this year. We will honor the life of former commissioner, Brother Humam Abdul Malik, founder of Black and Eyes, Inc., poet and author of Reflection and Contrast and Chess Made Simple for Everyone. Humam Adul Malik, my business partner, friend, and facilitator, co-founder of the Conscious Chess Moves program, made his transition June 6, 2022. You can still send in your three-minute MP3 file tribute for Brother Humam Adul Malik, if you know him, heard of him, you can do that, and um, I'll still will play it on the show. As each individual chooses to shift out of chronic disease care stress, I offer every person an opportunity to receive one free Nest Health Bioenergetic Voice Scan, and I still do that to this day family, community, and friend, you're on a friendship train ride using Nest Health Wellness Tools, wanting you to step up and understand how your body is being used to support you with all the latest tools and technology and software available. And you can get your free Nest Health Bioenergetic Voice Scan right from the comfort of your home using your home phone or computer recording. All you have to do is get in touch with me. Visit ConsciousSelfCare.com C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S-E-L-F Care.com The number 4 C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E Dot com And you can call 202 248 I will be glad to support you we're stepping up out of the dark ages of disease care. Family, community, and friends, it's that time. We have seen a lot, heard a lot, experienced a lot in the past four years. And especially this last year of 2022 and right here in 2023. We have buried friends and loved ones and our lifestyle personal viewpoints, understanding, and self-assurance have all been challenged and have all been changed. I'm here to tell you today that we are divine, energetic beings having a beautiful human experience on planet Earth. Embrace the new paradigm in epigenetics and bioenergetics, and we can support you right here, the arc of self-healing and self-help. You got the number. You have the power over your own your health and well-being. You are in control of your cells and your genes. Your thoughts and your environment can heal you from the inside out. And family, community, and friends, stress is a silent major influence on your health and your healing. And most feel they may not be under stress, mental or physical, and believe that they have a strong stress resistance. We are all handling so much more than we could ever imagine. And that's why I say to you how I'm setting back. And if you can take the time to 
have your thoughts centered on being on the friendship train ride tuning into yourself where you are taking the time to know what you are creating what you are making for yourself you must take the time to set back and tune into yourself and that's what we do right here on the friendship train ride and the, that's why I'm going to take this break the sabbatical and we're going to hear past shows and I want to thank brother Jamal for doing that for me reaching back all through the last maybe five years if you have to or want to uh, and share some shows uh, over this, this this month of August and um, September and family community and friends I'll be back and from brother who mom Abdul Malik as he always say along with me we are not our own enemy we must heal and deal with self love it's nothing wrong with providing self care it's nothing wrong with being in love with yourself it's nothing wrong with setting back now that the world has presented itself in its new um, way that seems to not be supportive everything is supported from your perspective from your viewpoint that you are the creator of your life because one believes in oneself one does not try to convince others I say because one believes one knows one understands in oneself one does not try to convince others because one is content with oneself one doesn't need others approval because one accepts oneself the whole world accepts him or her life is a state of consciousness you are the creator of your life family community and friends each time we face our fears we gain strength courage and confidence in the doing step up out of the dark ages of disease kid it's time to be your own wellness doctor do you need to relearn rethink and rewrite your personal health care plan family community and friends get in touch with me talk to me let's set up your wellness story let's share for five minutes give me a call 202-248-7749 202-248-7749 Reach out to D-D-A-V-I-S-F-O-U-L-K-S at gmail.com. Waiting for your call. Waiting to connect with you. See you in the community of Washington, D.C. very, very soon. Woo-woo! You boy, the friendship train. Take that time and take that deep, 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 deep lymphatic breath, family, community, and friends. And once again, we are not our own enemy. We must heal and deal with self-love. And it's a great time and a great opportunity for everybody to do just that. Heal with self-love. Love, love, love is all there is. Laws of vibrational energy. Ah, thank you very much for that relaxation. Thank you for joining me. And I look forward to sharing with you live when I return in November. But I will be sending up some current talks with you. As I move and adjust myself from the incident occurred. And I give my body the proper time to heal and take care of itself holistically, energetically, naturally using Ness, Ness Health Wellness Tools. Woo woo! Get in touch. ConsciousSelfCare.com Thinking that it would change my mind
problems, they would stay behind. I was a stick of dynamite, and it just was a matter of time. Oh, dang, oh my, now I can't hide. Said I knew myself, but I guess I lied. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. If you're lost, we're all a little lost, and it's alright. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. If you're lost, we're all a little lost, and it's alright, it's alright. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. I, I wrote a hundred pages, but I burned them all. Yeah, I burned them all. I blow through yellow lights and don't look back at all. I don't look back at all. Yeah, you can call me reckless. I'm a cannonball. I'm a cannonball. Don't know why I take a tightrope and cry when I fall. Oh, dang, oh my, now I can't hide. Said I knew what I wanted, but I guess I lied. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. If you're lost, we're all a little lost, and it's alright. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. If you're lost, we're all a little lost, and it's alright, it's alright. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Are you still taking care of your human body feel sell your malfunctions from an outdated healthcare system? Why not shift out of chronic disease care, stress, pharmaceuticals, vaccines, and surgeries and step up to energetics, epigenetics, and quantum health and healing with me. Step up and take control of your health journey. I offer you one free human body field voice scan from your computer or phone. Instant access to your scan results and more free quantum health information. For more details, visit ConsciousSelfCare.com. C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S-E-L-F-Care.com. Or call Karen Khadijah Davis folks, 202-248-7749. Yes, it's time to be your own wellness doctor.
all of my sisters and brothers. Well, you know, when, I, when you think about it, I...